Hi, welcome to this week's video. I decided to do sort of like a vlog because there's a few things that I want to share with you and I wasn't, I'm not able to do it all in a separate video. So I decided to put them together. Um, I got recently the Hourglass Foundation and the new Lancome Foundation and I did a poll in Instagram and uh, you guys said that you wanted to see, or the people that voted wanted to see the hourglass first so i decided to do a face-to-face -face or side-to-side -side comparison of both it is early it's about nine in the morning it's early for me i'm gonna be having this makeup on for like um at least 12 hours today so that way we could see if what is a wear proof and how long or how well does it last after x amount of hours and i'm gonna also be using a few more new items that i i got just really quickly but the, the main thing will be comparison of those two foundations and later on in the day I want to show you some unboxings. I got my Nordstrom sale haul. I placed two orders but the last the second order was cancelled so I can only show you the first one of course. And a couple of other things that I got in PR and I also have a box of empties that I want to share with you guys. So uh, let's start. That's why I decided to do a vlog because it's a, a few things that I want to put together. So let's start with the makeup this morning i want to do it really quickly i'm going to first i think well, it doesn't matter the order that i use them i'm going to use the hourglass maybe i'll use it on this side and then the lancome on this side and see how that works and they both have or offer like promise the same things like glowy and long coverage and the hourglass is the ambient soft glow foundation and the lancome is the tent idol ultra wear care and glow the Lancome says is 24 hour proof and the hourglass is 16 hours. I'm not going to be 24 hours, maybe not even 16. Now, I did also get the brush with the hourglass, the hourglass uh, brush. So I'm going to be using the hourglass, uh, hourglass brush on this side and then I'm going to use my regular BK Beauty foundation brush on the right side. I wanted to say that my hourglass, I got it in shade 3 and Lancome, I got it in the shade, I don't know. Oh, 115C. Expiration date on the Lancome is 224. And then the hourglass, um, it says expiration date is 12 months. So, pretty good time. Let's get that brush. I do love the hourglass packaging. It's so pretty. This is what their brush looks like. It's really pretty. And they're fluffy, really soft. And the foundation is not necessarily thick, but it's not runny either. And I think it's going to be a little bit too yellow for me but it is what it is that's the shade that i picked up as once you apply bronzer and all that it should help bring down the the yellow and it's not that bad it's really close to my i think it's really it's a good sh match for my my neck so i think it's perfect then okay so here it's on half of my face it does have a really pretty glow a really nice subtle glow it didn't streak on my face and it's pretty good on my nose area, which is my trouble area. And it's like a really light coverage, which is my preferred makeup. My light makeup is what I prefer. By the way, the Hourglass one didn't have any fragrance. And this is what the Lancome one. A little bit, a little bit more runnier than the Hourglass one. And I think it's like a little bit more, it's not as yellow as a Lancome one but I might be it might be a little bit dark I'm not sure I'm gonna pick all that up <laughs> and just go straight straight to the face I do have like a little bit of red spots this morning I've always heard that the hourglass one the tones are a little bit off but in this case it was the other way around the a Lancome one is I mean the hourglass is a better match than the Lancome one but you know what once you start spreading it out and blending it in it's actually not bad and again, I'm going to wear bronzer and all that, so it's going to change it a little bit. And this one has a little bit more fragrance. But I like it. Mm. Again, it's really good on the skin. Maybe as just as glowy. And mm, it's a little bit drier on my nose area. But let's see how it is after a few hours. Sometimes uh, products get a little bit more, better with time. So I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm not going to wear any powder. Just to make sure that everything works fine without any interference so and i'll come back later when i do the unboxings i'll have it probably about six hours on so then we'll know how good it was after six hours 
Now I'm gonna go into a new product for me. Um, it's not new in the market, but it's new for me. It's the um, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer. I haven't used this brand new. It, I got the shade 2, Fair, Pale. I love the applicator. It's so cute. It's coming out. You guys can pick it up. I think the applicator is a little bit too big for this area. I'm just going to put on some and then spread it around, blend it with my finger. So I think it's a little bit maybe too light, but it's good because it gives me like this brightening effect on my eyes and i don't know why my camera is like i haven't moved it but it looks like it's kind of cutting part of my head so i apologize for that i gotta figure i gotta figure that out i'm gonna do some powder under in my concealer area just to try this powder out i haven't even tried it i'm no I'm, I'm i'm terrible this is from westman atelier the vital pressed skincare powder i got the shade translucent i haven't even i mean i swatched it but i haven't really tried it on myself and I'm just going to put a little bit here under my eyes and where my pores are. I like to seal the concealer but also to see how it is on my pores because I've read that it's good for blurring pores. Although this foundation is, both foundations are doing an excellent job with my pores but I'm going to have to try this out as well. And I'm wearing, I'm using, I just picked up the first one I saw from Units. I got this in Beautylish. I got this fluffy brush. I think it was perfect for it. For this area all right for bronzer today i decided to wear the victoria pegum because i haven't worn it in such a long time so i'm gonna pick up my sony g niji niji pro which is back in stock as the last time i checked it was back in stock and what i like to do is i like to pick both shades and just give me a little bit of bronzing a little bit because again i'm trying out these foundations and i don't want to be doing too much such a beautiful bronzer, such a beautiful color, perfect like for my skin tone. I got the, light, the lightest one, the 01, because I am really pale. This is just to add a little bit of color. It's really simple. For blush, what did I pick up? Oh, I haven't used this in a while. It's from Suku. I don't know because it's in Japanese. The Suku Melting Powder Blush, shade 02. A little bit too pink for my taste, but once I apply it, it's really pretty. To add some color maybe a little bit too much for my comfort so I'm gonna go back with um <laughs> I went too hard with a foundation brush and that I use on this side and then the one I use on the other side for eyes today I'm gonna be using the hourglass scatter light glitter eyeshadow and vivid I haven't used this either but I thought it'll be like a nice touch I'm going for a very simple look today because like I said in the beginning, the stars of the show are the foundations. But I did want to use this color in my eyes as well and bring it up a little bit because I do have hooded eyes. Such a beautiful shimmer, isn't it? Um, for highlighter, I almost forgot I'm going to use the Victoria Beckham again. Again, because I've used it so many times already. I love it. I can't get away. <laughs> can't stay away. It just gives me such a pretty what look that I love. You see that how pretty? Very light, very natural looking, but I just love it. Gorgeous. And for eyes, for mascara, I'm gonna be using the Lancome Le Wheat. Beautiful packaging. Such a pretty mascara. And that's not even the my pretty eye, the one with the longer lashes. Let's see this one. It's beautiful love it and then finally i'm gonna use the charlotte tilbury the island dream lipstick i think a perfect nude color for this look okay so let me see a final look the fun not final look another look at the foundations they were both are working beautifully i'm gonna come back like in six hours and see how they look so i'll see you guys in a little bit hi i'm back <laughs> um we just came back from dinner and it's been it's quite it's still early it's 5 23 so it's been almost eight hours but i think i already have a final thought on these foundations from far away if you look at me it they look they look very similar but i do see some differences once you close in coverage wise 
They're both about the same coverage. And then in my pores, they are they both do a pretty good job, but I think here the hourglass side accentuates my pores just a little bit more. My nose is a total mess, um, especially on the hourglass side. It's like really messed up, like I don't like it. But the Lancome side is actually pretty good. And my chin is kind of dry, but mostly on the hourglass side. But here on the cheeks is okay. Uh, they both feel really soft and they both have about the same coverage. So they're very, very similar. But I'm leaning more towards the Lancome. But I am going to continue using it and see like with um, maybe a more a, another moisturizer or a primer, they might perform differently or better. Uh, the mascara, uh, the mascara has been pretty good. My my lashes are still, still up, um, and my eyes are really tired because when I wear contacts for a long a period of time, for a few hours, my eye, eyes start getting like really dry and tired, tired. So that's why you see me squinting a little. But the, the mascara didn't run off on my on my cheeks or my on my under eye, so I think it's pretty good. So now what um I'm gonna do like I promised you guys, I am. Um, I want to take a shower and take off this makeup and go to bed early today and do some editing and in bed and stuff. But I did promise you I was going to do some unboxings or one unboxing and show you a couple of things I got this week in PR. And I also was going to show you my box of empties, but I think I'm going to leave my box of empties for later on, probably tomorrow, because I am really tired today. Um, but... It will make a difference to you guys because it's going to be in the same video. It's just another day for me, but same day for you. So first let me show you some stuff I got in PR. And then I just get the big box from Nordstrom to get these things out of the way. I got from Kiehl's the Retinol Fast Release Wrinkle Reducing Night Serum. I don't know if it's a new product, but I am in their PR list. Um, when they come out with a new product, they send it to me. So I would think this is a new product. I haven't tried it. I will try it probably starting tonight. And after a week or two, I'll let you guys know. Probably two weeks. Let you guys know what I think. I like to try skincare for at least two weeks before I give you my final thoughts or a thought about it. And during recently during the Amazon Prime, I got a couple of things and I don't remember what I got, but for beauty I only got one thing and it's from Peter Thomas Roth. It's the anti-aging cleansing gel. I never tried this product and I was intrigued. It does have glycolic acid salicylic acid um so i'll probably use it like maybe every other day but since it says anti-aging cleansing oil um cleansing gel and it had really good reviews i think it's gonna be okay for for me it says it's including it's ideal for all skin types except sensitive including dry normal combination oily and sun damage effectively cleans pores dissolves makeup emulsifies oil and helps improve the look of skin texture as it chemically exfoliates with glycolic and salicylic acids. I prefer chemical exfoliates than physical. So I will try it and let you guys know what I think. Again, give me. I wanna, I'm gonna give it a few tries before giving you a verdict. Those are the two like little things that I got in the week. I also got the Lancome foundation, the Hourglass foundation, but I already have those on, so there's no point in me showing you. And let me show you my Nordstrom box. It is really big, so I'm just gonna show you the box and take out things as I as I see them. I didn't get a lot of things. I placed two orders, and in this order, I got the four things I'm gonna show you, and also a pair of um, um, slippers. I'll show you the slippers, and I placed a second order with uh, the Trish McAvoy planner, that big planner with a bunch of things for travel, but they canceled my order. It went out of stock, so I'm not getting that order. Let me show you the box. The box of the order that I did get. It's huge, huge, huge. Okay, the biggest item here is this light, like this mirror. So I'm gonna take out first. From Simple Human, it's the center mirror. Um, I got this for my vanity. I am re using the Ricky Loves Ricky mirror right now because I usually use that only for traveling, but I put it on my vanity for now because I needed more, another mirror because I, need, I wanted more light but now that I have this simple human mirror I could put that one away for travel and then use this for my vanity so I'm very happy I'm gonna set it up and show you guys a picture probably um, on my Instagram so make sure you follow me there in case you want to see how it looks on my vanity 
right after I'm done with this video, I'm gonna install my super human, simple human somewhere in my vanity so I have an extra mirror, which I'm really excited about. Okay, so I did get something that is not beauty related. It's a shirt. I oh, I have been tried it. I have to, you know, try it on. And um, I think it's gonna fit me. It is extra large. Actually, I got it XXL because it said that it ran small, but I don't know. Now I think it's gonna be too big. But it's in black. And what I like the best was the sleeve. It's like this see-through and it has like black little like design. And it is see-through. It might be a little bit too big, but I'll work it out. I think I could work it out. I like sometimes to wear something loose, like for work. Oh, the from Westman Atelier, the squeaky clean lip balm duo. I got Nana Popsicle. So I got two new lip glosses. The bombs it is squeaky clean liquid bombs i will try this out in the future video i uh, believe this is a body wash for my husband and just in time because he ran out today yep body fuel all in one energizing wash i do like keels um the face wash that he uses is from keels and he loves it so i decided to get the body fuel and it should smell really good because of the it should yeah, it's like very clean and masculine, but not like too masculine. It's mostly clean. It's great. He's going to love it. And let me show you the slippers that I got. Okay, <laughs> I found them. These are the slippers I got. I got them a size up. I'm a size 10. I used to be a size 9, but then when my, my feet started swelling, I moved up to a size 10. But I got these in size 11 because I wanted to be extra comfortable. And like to be around the house and I think I'm not going to use them just yet I'm going to save them for my next trip to take them in the for the hotel to be comfortable I like them I love the color it's really pretty I like it and they're really comfy and I have forgotten that I had ordered this this came on its own separately that's why I have forgotten this is the first thing that came the slippers came first and then this came on a separate order but it was the same in a different in a separate package but it's the same order I got these leggings from the brand Zella in XXL and I like it because I love I love the fabric it's stretchy of course and it has pockets I love pockets and I, I still have to try it but I'm pretty sure I could fit in because they are very stretchy and I got them because I want to start the routine again of walking every day or every other day those are my those were my Nordstrom purchases I didn't really, didn't really order that much because there wasn't a lot that it was either stuff that I already had or things I really didn't catch my attention. So I didn't get that much. But regardless, I wanted to show it to you. I wanted to share it with you. So yeah, that's all for now. I'm going to come back later, later in this video, and show you guys my box of empties. So I'll see you guys around. Hi, welcome back again. As promised, I'm going to show you my box of empties. It is really big. I put it on an Amazon box. It's pretty big. I have a lot of things here, but I'm not going to be talking about them too much because I don't want this video to be excessively long. I had to turn sideways because it's too big and it doesn't fit on my vanity. So let's start with the bigger items just to get them out of the way. Um, all right. And some of them have been sitting here for a while. So this is from our Argan Natural Firming Collagen Coconut Shower Gel. I got this um, for free to try for my honest review. I like it. I mean, it smells really nice. It leaves my skin really soft. Would I buy it again? Probably not because there's, I think there's other products out there that I, I would try. But it wasn't bad. I had a really nice fragrance. It smelled like coconut. And I did feel my skin really smooth and it smelled good. But nothing like extraordinary. So overall, like I probably wouldn't buy it again. Or buy it because I didn't buy it the first time. All right, so the next thing I want to show you is from Jo Malone. The Wood Sage and Sea Salt Body and Hand Wash. This I'd probably buy again for sure. Uh, either in that fragrance or another fragrance. I like this one because it's kind of masculine but not too masculine. And Jo Malone has really nice fragrances. And the soap was really nice. I, I use this as a hand wash, not as a body wash. As a hand wash and i like it i'll probably buy it again from fresh i got the body cleanser and the body cream but i haven't finished with the body cream yet 
the body cleanser I got this uh, to try as PR. Um, it is really gentle. I use it for my for my body. Uh, it's really gentle. It smells really mild. Nothing nothing too fragrant. Um, let me turn on the light of my of my mirror here so we have more more light. Um, it was nice. I probably wouldn't. I don't think I'll buy it again because there's a lot of cleansers out there. But it is really nice. There's a lot of skincare and body products in this in these empties. This is from La Roche Posay, the Lippy Car Wash AP, the Gentle Foaming Moisturizing Wash. It's nice. This I purchased, I believe. Yeah. Um, it's okay. It's nice. Probably wouldn't buy it again because it's a little bit too mild. I want something a little bit stronger, like with more more bubble more bubbles a little bit more exfoliating but it's not bad it was it was nice on the skin it didn't irritate me or nothing like that um another body wash this one i just finished it this is from the cottage greenhouse grapefruit and blood orange i got this in a subscription box with margo elena this smells really nice i love it because it's like orangey very refreshing very awakening the only thing i don't like about these soaps that there are a little bit of watery and it looks like I added water but no that's just that's the consistency I don't know if the little that's left you guys could see it you see it it is very watery so we went through it really fast my stepdaughter went through it really fast um, because again it's watery she would get more than what she had to so we went through it really fast but it smells really good if I get it again in a subscription box I'll be happy because I do like the fragrance but I wouldn't go out and buy it necessarily from another this is a another this is a hand wash another hand wash molten brown the orange and bergamot I like this soap because it will leave my skin soft but I wasn't a huge fan of the fragrance it was okay but not one that I'll buy again um so yeah i just wanted to show you that i did go through it it's okay if i get it again if i see it like on, on sale or on a discount maybe i'll get it but it's not something that i really want to buy again another wash <laughs> a lot of washes from margot then again this is the library of flowers oh this is a hand sanitizer i went through it the smallest gun but i remember it was very refreshing very citrusy very lemony i liked it i enjoyed it from the margolena subscription box i have the light from li the library of flowers forget me not shower gel this one smells so 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 good i wish we will get it again in the subscription box mm, there's still some left like very faintly oh it smells so so good it smells like forget-me-nots, uh, American small batch perfumery. Um, it just smells really good. I got two of these uh, from Gizu, the honey infused hair mask. I have two, two of them. This, if you follow my videos for, if you've been following me for a while, you know how much I love this brand. It's just it smells so 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 good, and it leaves my hair so soft. I wash my hair once a week. This light keeps on turning on and off. I don't know why, but I wash my hair once a week because of my dry scalp. I think that's the best way for me. And this, um, anything that's Gizu, let me see if I have anything else from Gizu. Um, yes, I have the shampoo right here. Anything from the brand, it just leaves my hair so soft and it smells so good. Okay, another shower gel. This is from Lolia, again, from the Margot Elena subscription box, which, by the way, is my favorite subscription box because I just love the way they break the, all the fragrances and creams and perfumes that it brings i love it this is lolia the moment water lily and sun blossoms perfume shower gel let me see yes this one smells a little bit more fresh and if i get it again in another subscription box in a subscription box i wouldn't i wouldn't mind from lolia relax foaming bath i don't have a bath i have a shower but i would use this regardless this one, uh, the, the smell is already gone, but it is a glass bottle, which is not ideal in the shower, but nothing happened to it. Like, I didn't have any accidents, thankfully. Okay, we have another, this is a body and gel wash, but this is, I use as a body wash from Jo Malone, the Nectarine Blossom and Honey. This one's a little bit more sweeter, so I liked it better for my body than the other one that was a little bit more masculine. This one smells good. Uh, it's not my favorite fragrance from jo malone but it's all her fragrances are nice so if, if it comes out in sale again i'll definitely buy buy this one or any other fragrance because i do like them all all right this is from good molecules the rose water daily cleansing gel i purchased 
Uh, I use it sometimes in the morning and I also um, buy it for my stepdaughter so she could start using face cleansers. She's uh, she just turned 10. So I'm starting to get her used to, you know, getting to take care of her skin better. And this is very gentle, very nice. Uh, it's a very gentle cleanser. That's why I like it in the morning. Would I purchase again? Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, I did have a backup and I already started that backup. So I need to get more backups later on from Beautylish. My favorite brush cleaner, Stendema Secrets. I finished one of their bottles. This is the brush cleaner. Um, this is the blue one. If you don't know Cinema Secrets, you are missing out on, I think, in my opinion, is one of the best, if not the best, brush cleaner. It It's, it's maybe it's not the best for those really deep cleansing, although you can use it for that, but because they do have another product from the line that is better for deep cleaning, like the soap, um, they have another product, but this is more for like a quick clean and it dries almost immediately like within a minute you'll be able to use that brush again and that's why i like it i use it a lot uh, between like the deep cleanings so if i need a brush right away this is what i use really good i recommend it i go through it a lot i go through that product a lot all right my favorite makeup removing balm shantikai it's an empty the shantikai rose de may cleansing balm i do have a backup and i mean i have one in the bathroom and i have another backup i love this product it smells really really nice mm, you can still smell it no it's empty but you can still smell it it smells like rose but it's not too overpowering it's really mild and i just love the product because it really like dissolves the makeup and leaves your skin really soft it doesn't irritate my eyes or my skin and i use it always when i do it well, not always but i when I use it, it's when I double cleanse as my first step, as my double cleanse. I do have other makeup removers uh, that I use. I that I like to like. I like to um, switch it up sometimes and change it, but this is my favorite one so far. My favorite cleansing balm. All right, this face cleanser, uh, the cleansing foam from La Mer, I enjoyed. I don't know when I will repurchase it. I will repurchase it eventually. Um, I don't know when again, but. I will because I liked it. It was very mild, really nice. I like the way um, it left my skin. It, I felt really clean. It's one of those cleansers that you you feel that you're clean. You know that your pores are open and and, and that doesn't sound right. That they're fresh and clean and really like really cleaned. I I like it. So if I see it around like on sale, maybe in the cosmetic company store. I'll definitely pick it up because I do like it. In fact, from, from Gizu, I know there was something else. The honey infused hair oil. Again, I love it. I love the way it smells. I love the way it leaves my hair. It smells so, so good. Delicious. You have to smell it to know what I mean. Uh, from Orave, I got this a long time ago in Beautylish in a lucky bag. Uh, the Gold Lust Repair and Restore Shampoo. It lasts a long time because, again, I use Gizu. But I will use this like once in a while I will use it because I like the way it smelled and it, it, it felt good. It's nice. I probably wouldn't go out and buy it because I do love Gizu very much. But I like it. I mean I it's not that I'm not I don't like it. It's just that the fact that I have other things that I like more. But I did like this and I enjoyed it. I don't go through makeup a lot, but skincare I do. From Glow Recipe, the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. This smells so good. I love watermelon. Watermelon is so good for my skin. So I love this product. I went through it. Um, would I buy it again? Sure. I wouldn't say no to it. But not for now because I'm using other other masks. But I would repurchase it. I wouldn't mind. From Strivectin, I this is a Super C Retinol. I did not finish it up, but it did already expire, so I'm going to get rid of it because it is vitamin C. They're bright and correct vitamin C serum. Um, it has very little left, so I enjoyed it very, very much. I got this, I think it was an Ulta or something a while back. Um, I liked it. It wasn't irritating. I felt that it left my skin really, really soft, and I enjoyed it. I am using other vitamin C serums now. But I wouldn't mind going back to that one and trying it again. I wouldn't mind. I have a couple of masks here from Patol Patchology. The Warm Up Perfect 10 Self Warming Hand and Cuticle Mask. Mm, it's not bad. I mean, it, it doesn't it didn't irritate me or hurt me or anything like that. But I really didn't see a difference. So probably wouldn't buy it again. Came in this package. Probably wouldn't buy it again. But the pedicure, this is for the feet, gently exfoliates and resurfaces feet. This I've done a couple of them. This is very effective, really good. 
I recommend this 100%. Um, you could find this like in Nordstrom, also in online. I've seen it in a Nordstrom rack. And I, I do recommend it because it, uh, it was really good on my feet. Okay, um, I found another skincare thing. I forgot. I hadn't seen it. From Tatcha. The Deep Cleanse. I didn't feel the difference or anything like that. I got this like a sample size, a travel size. If I do get it again in a travel size, I wouldn't mind using it because it didn't irritate my skin. But honestly, I didn't really feel the difference. Now, the next product that I'm going to show you, I do feel a difference. It's my favorite product from that brand. It's from Chantecaille, the Bio Lifting Mask. I'm always saying it when people ask me, if I were to choose one product from the brand, what would it be? And it's the Bio Lifting Mask. And this is a travel size. This is not the original size. I have the original size in the bathroom. This product is the best. It's like an automatic lift to the face. I use it overnight. Uh, about every two or three nights, I use this. Because you're not supposed to use it every night. And you don't have to use it every night. And you only need like a really small amount. It's amazing product. Your skin instantly feels softer. And like you have a, a lift. Like I use it as a mask overnight. But I've heard of people that use it under makeup. Like a primer. When they want that, like, that instant lift effect. If they're going to go to like a special event or wedding or something like that. And they want that look. You know before. before and, and they want it to to look freshen up and, and younger and all that during the night, during that special, special event, then they use it as a primer. I use it as a mask, and I love it. And from Chantecaille, another product that I used up is their uh, Full Seas Mascara. It's one of my favorite mascaras. I have two or three backups of it because I just love it. And now there's a, going, um, there's a sale going on, the 25% off annual sale uh, that Chantecaille has around this time. And... Um, most of the products are included in a sale and this this the, the mascara and the bio lifting mask are included in the sale so if you're in you're thinking about getting it now is the time to get it they have a few sales um, here and there and um, some retailers have a Chantecaille on sale from time to time but this is like one of the biggest sales of the year so you should take advantage of it and try on now so oh, um I, that's all of my empties. It was a lot, but I went through it really fast. Sorry if this video is a little bit too long. I promise that um, I try to. I wanted to show you guys uh, that comparison of the two foundations, and I also wanted to show you my uh, the Nordstrom sale, Nordstrom haul unboxing, and my empties because um, I'm only doing one video a week, so I want to show you guys things that I think you guys would like to see and that are helpful so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already and i'll see you next time bye